The Supervisor of Elections gave evidence that the Electoral Commission had challenges establishing a training division and appointing someone to assist with the database. Simon said the position of Assistant Database Administrator, Systems Analysis, was never approved by Cabinet. A recommendation was made to have someone from the IT department seconded to the Electoral Commission, but to her knowledge, the Commission never received a response. Sir so Gerald further questioned Simon on the issues regarding boundary changes. She noted that this matter was brought to the suspended chairman early in his tenure. The Commission recognized that with the expansion of communities, individuals were registering in the wrong constituencies because the boundaries were not properly demarcated. Following the establishment of a Boundaries Commission in 2008 and the completion of its work in January 2009, Simon testified that the Electoral Commission had the daunting task of placing individuals in the correct constituencies. Simon said this was completed after seven days following the signing of the writ of elections on February 20. The supervisor of elections gave evidence that as far as the printing of the register for elections and the photo register was concerned, this was being done up until the day of the elections. It was at this time that the printer developed problems, and except for Barbuda, all the other constituencies had difficulties getting the relevant documents on time. Watt recalled an Antigua Sun newspaper article quoting Simon as saying that more time was needed for the commission to be ready for the general elections. Simon said she never used these words, and she had explained to the reporter that except for the circumstances surrounding the opening of polls in the constituencies, everything else went smoothly. Mitzi Francis reporting for ABS News.